In this video, we'll be seeing how to create QR code using Recipe. We could create QR code for receiving single payments or multiple payments. You could use it according to your use case and also can set it as a fixed amount or you can either not specify the amount as well. So let's get started with the implementation. Here you can see that I have created a file index.php. We have to install Razorpay library to this project. For that you can either download and paste the library files here or you can use Composer. Here we have to install SAMP and Composer. So if you are not having PHP installed, you can download and install SAMP. And after that, you can download Composer. And when you are installing Composer, you can also add the path of PHP to your environment variable. We have to add Razorpay PHP SDK to our project. So you can go to this URL and we can either use Composer or you can directly download the zip file from the release section and add the Razorpay.php to your project. So we are going to use Composer. So let's copy this command. I have already installed and set up Composer on my device. So I will be able to use this command Composer. So let's open a terminal. Here you can see that I'm inside the project directory. Now we can install the Razorpay using the command Composer require. Now it will be installing the libraries to our project. Here the library is installed properly. Now we can minimize this and here you can see a vendor folder has been added. And also you can see composer.json, composer.log. So inside the vendor we can see Razorpay added. See? So all the required libraries will be added through Composer. So now we have to add this vendor and autoload.php, this file. We have to add this file to our index.php. So you can start PHP here and type require vendor slash autoload.php because it is inside vendor folder and the autoload.php. That's it. Now we can go to the documentation here. You can come to this documentation URL. I'll give the link on description and you can copy this code from here. You can see we are creating an object and then we are creating the QR code here. So you can copy this. Since I'm using PHP, I have selected the language here. So you can use any language that you are going to do. So if you are going with Python, you can do that. So the process will be almost the same, but a little change. So you have to install Razorpay library for Python. And you have to use the import statement and all those things. Just like that for Node.js also, you have to install the library and do the same. So right now we are going with PHP. So you can copy this one and we can paste that here. Now here we can see we need key ID and key secret. So let's create a variable on the top dollar key ID. We have to get this key ID from the Razorpay dashboard. We'll get that soon. And secret equal to this one also. We have to get it from the Razorpay dashboard. Now you can see this is showing a warning. You have to add the import statement for this. So I'm using a PHP Storm. So if you're using PHP Storm, you will get better suggestions and error detection. You can use any IDE. You simply have to add this import statement. See, this is the import statement I, that I just added right now. So you have to add this use statement on the top. That's it. And the warning will go away. So I have just formatted the array. So you can see this was the array. And I have removed a few items that I think were not required. You can add the items uh, depending upon your use case. So we'll be discussing them. You can see that we are setting the type to UPI QR and you can set the name here and the usage type. So you can set it either to be a single use or multiple use. So let's go to the documentation I will discuss there. Here on the documentation, you can scroll down and you can see the request parameters. Here you can see type and we have to specify UPI QR and the name, you can see the description of that field here. Then you can see the usage and both of these are required type. You can see the red star here. So that means you have to specify both of them. And you can see single use. That means you can only accept one payment. Multiple use, you can receive multiple payments through that single QR code. So let's say if you are using this QR code for your online shop or something like that. So when you, are, when you want to generate a QR code for single payment for a single customer or something, you can use the single usage and you can generate the QR code. You can also set the amount to be fixed or not. 
so if you are setting this to fixed you can specify the amount here you can set the integer value you can also specify the description of the payment and here you can see customer id so here we can pass the id of the customer so in Razorpay, we can create customers you can see this documentation i'll give the link for this on the description here we can see we can create a customer so this is the code for creating the customer i'll just zoom it for you okay hope you can see that properly right now so this is the code for creating a customer you can simply create calling the customer here and call the create function and you can pass the name email and contact so we'll be doing that so you can create the customer or you can also pass an existing customer id you simply have to pass the customer id here so this payment will be linked to that specific customer so it will be easy for you to track the customer payments and all those things so you can set up a customer loyalty program or something so and this one close by uh, is the time frame for the payment to be completed you can set it or you can avoid that also so after that time uh, it will be expired so that's it you can also set a note as well so that's it with the request parameters you can see the response here we will get to that later on so now we can uh, create a customer so we can copy this one because we will be creating the customer so let's copy this much from here and we can paste that here so this is the code for creating the customer so let me just arrange the array so this is the code i just formatted the array now you can create a variable here for the customer so customer equal to and you will get the created customer here and here we can change the customer id so you can set it to customer of id so if you go to the documentation you can see the customer documentation but here you can in the response you can see we are getting the id this is the id of the customer and this will not change for this particular customer and the name and the email contact etc which we give and the gst all those things you can set it uh, for now we are not giving that so you will be getting those responses there so after creating this using this code you will be getting the customer id so you can use that okay so as a response for this one you will get the customer id and all those details so that's how i set this customer id here so we are generating the new customer here so you can do this uh, according to your logic okay so you can either use an existing customer uh, in that case you simply have to give the id of that customer or you can create it just like this okay so right now we are creating it and giving the id of the customer here and now here we can receive this qr code to a variable qr equal to now we'll be getting all those details response details in this variable so here you can see that we are setting this to a single use payment type and the amount is fixed we are setting into one that means true so you have to set it to a boolean value uh, so you can either set it to one or zero zero means false and one means true you can either set it to true as well okay and uh, here we can see the amount so you can specify the amount here and uh, this one is the customer id and the description that's it so this is how we are generating the qr code now we can try printing this qr code somewhere so here you can see that the, i am printing the image since this is an image url i am using the img tag and printing it okay so this should print the image of the qr code and uh, we will be able to see that so before running this we have to add the key id and key secret so don't forget to add those so let's go to our razorpay dashboard so i have logged into the razorpay dashboard i'm in test mode and here we can go to our account and settings and you can go to the api keys here you can see we are already having a key you can regenerate the key give a deactivate the one and uh, create a new one let's copy these details we have to copy the key secret and store it somewhere safe you can also download it here now we can paste those details here so we have added the key id and the key secret now now we can try running this so this should generate the qr code and this should also generate a new customer and uh, so you can see the qr code will be 
link to this customer. So I will show those details after running. So let's try running this. So here you can see the QR code is generated. You can see the description here and the name here. And this is the QR code. If you try to scan this, the amount will be fixed. So that's it. So this is how you can generate the QR code. Now if you go to the Razorpay dashboard and if you go to QR codes, here you can see the QR code that you just generated. So if you go to this one and click here, you can see the customer details also here. See, the customer details that we linked with this QR code is available here. So hope you understand this part. So you can easily generate a QR code and link that to a customer. And uh, on successful payment, you can use a webhook to uh, collect the payment details. So you can collect the successful payment details and uh, maybe add that to your database or send a receipt, etc. So you, for that, you can use webhook. I have already done a video on this. So you can refer this video and do that. You simply have to change this uh, event to other things. Uh, right now, the event is order.paid. If you go down to the description, uh, you can see the documentation link here. So simply go to the documentation link. And here you can see the sample payload. You can select the QR code. Right now we are doing this for QR code. And you can see the webhook event here. See, uh, when the QR code is created, you will get this trigger. And uh, when the QR code is closed, credited, etc., you will get this uh, triggers. Okay. And you can see the response here. So you can work your logic accordingly. So here you can see the QR code credited as the one and you can use it. You can read this one here. And uh, there are other triggers as well. Uh, if you're making a payment, so you can use this as well. Payment captured and all those things. So you can refer the webhook uh, documentation here and uh, use the event according to what you're implementing. For subscriptions, you can use this one. For invoices, you can use this one, etc. So right now you are doing the QR code. So you can use this one. So hope you understand that part. So you simply can follow this uh, tutorial and you can uh, implement that one. Okay. It's pretty much simple. You simply have to change this event type here. So hope you understand how to create UPI QR codes using Razorpay. If you have any doubts, you can leave the comment below. I'll respond to them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos.